stepped up her game and had the best quick step of the night. You know what? I thought it was a fantastic performance. Huge improvement from last week. Right. Your form, your stature, great. They realized and noticed that we took all their advice and used it this yeah. week. And that's what we're going to do for next week, too. Our story is perfect for the waltz because it's a very dramatic dance. The storyline that we've been talking about, like, you know, you dressed as a Marine and coming back and, like, it's almost like a dream. Now it's a matter of you bringing it to life. Bringing it to life and... And really reacting. I'm not used to getting my emotions out and showing people. Whew, it's a little scary. This is a man that's coming back from bed to dance with you for the last time. That may... Are you laughing? No, I just gotta get with it, like, clear my head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Forward. It is very important for Adrena to display her emotions throughout the dance, because if she doesn't, then the audience can't connect. So you're thinking it, but you're showing it. Mm -hmm. That's the important thing. Okay? okay? Let's dance for the last row in the bleachers. Okay. The wall scares me because I have to dig really deep. I mean really deep. That's it. And look at your hands. That's it. And then push. I want America to get the chills when they watch us. And I'm really going to try my best to make it believable. Ooh, that was it. That, <laughs> that was awesome. Dancing the Waltz, Audrina Patrick and her partner Tony DeVolani. Audrina, Tony, and the Smoke Monster from Lost. Nice job, guys. Very nice. All right, Bruno. We will start with you. Compelling and touching storytelling. Every move was connected to an emotional journey. I could read the story through you. Beautifully danced wow. and beautifully played. A hit. All right. Carry on. It was beautifully danced. We do have to point your toes a hair more, but I think the competition just got very interesting. Uh -huh. And when? Well, it reminded me of something that an old dance teacher said before you were born. He said, you walk with your feet and you dance with your heart. And that was the most touching dance of the night. Congratulations, guys. Three for three. Head on over there for your scores. Now, while we're handing out applause, how about Continuing that for our band and our singers and the man who keeps them in line, our musical director, Harold Wheeler. Brooke, over to you. Thanks, Tom. Adrina, we're just three weeks into the competition. Did you ever think that you would become a dancer so quickly? No, Tony has taught me well, but we do, we wanted to dedicate this song, or this dance and the song and everything to all the armed troops that have been lost in war and to their families. So, all right. let's get your scores right now. 
The judges have their scores. Carrie Ann Inaba. Eight. Len Goodman. Nine. Bruno Tomio. Nine. Nine. <laughs> That's 26 out of 30, which is the first nine of the season. Wow. It's also your highest score. But last week you said that if you didn't get three eights last week, that you were going to wax your legs. And of course, we were there. So take a look at this clip. We got some. Oh, I feel it. Bruno, you could have given me an A, dude. <laughs> that still hurts. So, Tony, are you going to be making any bribes moving forward? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It wasn't quite as bad, actually. One thing for sure, now I know what my wife and the many women out there go through. Oh. So. Everybody, you know what to do right now. They need your support. You can call, text, and log on to abc.com if you want to give them an opportunity to come back again next week. Great job, you guys. Tom? Thank you, Brooke.